Rising temperatures and extreme weather events threaten the lives of billions of people around the world. In tonight's Project Earth, how Bay Area musicians, the United Nations, the Recording Academy, and a global alliance are joining forces to use music for change. Outside the historic Fillmore. San Francisco! Inside Green Day, the Grammy winners who can sell out stadiums just performed at the more intimate venue. Welcome to my brother. The East Bay group played two entire albums, the newly released Saviors, as well as the masterpiece American Idiot. The event was hosted by the United Nations and Recording Academy, but it was organized by the Right Here, Right Now Global Climate Alliance. Music is a really unique tool in our toolbox. David Clark founded the alliance. He says the Fillmore event was the global kickoff to a new concert venture. The proceeds will fund climate change initiatives. Green Day, they've been promoting, you know, social and environmental issues for decades. So they were really our first choice and we're grateful they agreed to perform and it was amazing. One goal to reframe climate change as a human rights crisis. Those in immediate danger are already among the most vulnerable. It's such an existential threat. It's actually hard for people to wrap their their heads around it, which is why you need to communicate in languages that they understand like art and music. If we don't take care of each other, it's going to be pretty dismal. Grammy winner Xavier Dupropolis, Oakland's own fantastic Negrito, applauds the alliance and its efforts. If we don't take care of our home, the planet, and get really concerned about the things that are happening here, then it's going to be a miserable place to live. Can you hear sound? It's going into the ground. His song, Rolling Through California, was sparked by the state's devastating 2021 wildfire season, stoked by climate change. He too sees music as an instrument of change. You want to try to motivate people uh, to do something, to take action, because doing nothing is just not an option. Xavier's Storefront Records is co-hosting an Earth Day celebration on April 21st at Thrive City near Chase Center. He says vulnerable communities are also in our own backyard. Other neighborhoods that I came from sometimes even are overlooked that the conversation isn't even being had about climate change and environment. On Earth Day, there will be open air markets that will benefit local vendors to keep us all thriving. Get in harmony with the earth, the place that you live. The more you love it, the more it gives. Earth Day! A gift where we can all find harmony.